Hello fam, thank you for coming to the channel That is Dale Chanel's 48th World And let's get on into it I want to say thank you all for coming over to the house Spending some time with me While we talk about this issue You know I'm back on Cynthia Bailey She just keep being out there Yesterday she was talking about her daughter being sexually fluent and bringing her out on her social media platform and just plastering her everywhere and we had to talk about it. Now we're here today to talk about her and my kill. Cynthia Bailey that is of the Real Housewives of Atlanta family. She done got an epiphany. Somewhere in her mind she done woke up and said well damn this man done been married two times. Why am I trying to marry this brother? Where did he come from? You know, she asking the question she should have been asking before she got engaged. Yes. Cynthia do everything ass backwards. I tell you, she's just one ass backwards ass child. Woo, but let's help her out, family. Let's help her out. Let's talk about this situation. Now, Urban Bell, magazine.com, they had Miss Amanda Niles over there. Serving us up something as far as a story, an article she wrote out or brought out on yesterday the 4th. She titled it Real Housewives of Atlanta star Cynthia Bailey is uncomfortable. Yes, uncomfortable about Mike Hill cheating on previous wives. Now I'm like, Cynthia, you're just trying to push your storyline a little long. Or alone in a sense. Are you trying to push the storyline alone? Because like I said yesterday, you was out there trying to pimp out your daughter for a storyline about her flu her sexuality. Her being fluent over there. Alright, I don't know if you and Andy Cohen and Mike Hill trying to make this salacious story be more than what it's really worth. You know, uh, using your daughter as for a storyline to keep you relevant in the streets out there. In the trending world. Uh, salacious stories in the gossip community as far as entertainment <laughs> or you know you're using this as a storyline i don't know because i don't know how you're gonna have an epiphany of whether or not you should marry this man or is this man really gonna be down for you because he showed one down with his other two eyes now you're talking about a cynthia damn you know, it ain't like you've been not married before you were married before you've been in several relationships like girl Good God, you should have drunk some of uh, Portia Williams and Portia Williams uh, Hennessy because she said she think very clear. <laughs> she be very clear when she be drinking her henny, honey. The henny be hitting. Okay, maybe you need to sit and talk to. Let me see. Well, you really can't talk to Nene, but you could. You know, if you can bury the hatchet with her, you could have been over there. She'll tell you what's going on. You know what I'm saying? Either you're going to remarry the one that you were with, you know that devil, you know that uh, cloth very well, meaning Peter Thomas, because she sure ain't doing that out there. But at least we knew what Peter was, okay? We anticipating of uh, knowing what Mike Hill is. We definitely know he's a damn cheater, okay? Now, whether or not Papa Smurf, our little female male housewife, Peter Thomas, was cheating on you, that was speculation. No real truth where we found pre-evidence, you know. But Peter always loved the ladies. You knew that from the beginning. But see, Mike Hale, Mike Hale, Lord have mercy. Mike Hale been married twice. We ain't going to go into talking about how many times Peter been married. Because that's neither here nor there. I just kind of like Peter. I still like Peter. I ain't going to say he's the best substitute for uh, uh, another retry with marrying him or not. Unless you ain't gonna, you're going to give him an allowance. And then, you know, he'd stay true to that allowance. Um, or not, that's not the question. Because we know you ain't stupid enough to get him the whole bank account with the uh, clearance codes. So he can wipe you out again. Or nearly wipe you out, allegedly. Okay? But, yeah. You sitting up here thinking? You thinking? You thinking, Cynthia? Who putting this thought in your head? Is that Mal and your mama over there, girl? <laughs> Is Mal and your mama over there talking about they going to hide your, um... I know I'm finna say birth certificate, <laughs> but I mean the boy. I mean, I, oh Lord, don't let me speak that on your marriage, girl. Your marriage certificate. They trying to hide that marriage certificate like they did on Peter Thomas and you when you trying to get married, girl. Girl, don't make me laugh at you. Okay, but yeah, that's the story we're diving in today, family. What made Cynthia think about? Let alone dare put it out on social media. 
that she having second thoughts to wondering is Mike going to be faithful to her and I think it has a lot to do with the upcoming episode I don't know if they're going to show it this Sunday or they're going to wait until another uh, time to show it but I know it's in the rotation for season 12 for her and Mike to have a conversation about she asking him is he true to form can he really honestly have a uh, faithful not even thought about cheating type of marriage with her and you know he looking all crazy and shit you know i'm like yeah he need counseling girl he needs to stay on the counseling because something ain't right with him either something ain't right and something ain't right with that milk of them two wives i think you need to go talk to them two wives cynthia don't necessarily talk to him just put a pi a private investigator on him for about three months okay so you really know the ins and outs of mike you ain't gotta tell us on social media but you'll know because you don't spend the money for your private private investigator to investigate Mike's behind okay all right that's all I'm saying Cynthia but anyway if we go on into the article like I said Amanda Niles over there writing this article I want to say she is anyway let me backtrack let me go let me see now I don't want to be giving somebody else her credit or giving her credit and she didn't write the article but again like I said it's on urbanbellmag.com and yes, again, it is. She must be focusedly solely writing for the Real Housewives of Atlanta. Because every time I get a story on these young ladies, she is the author of a said particular article. But yes, it's Miss Amanda Anderson Niles over there knocking out this uh, hit of a story for us to partake of and discuss. She titles her article, Real Housewives of Atlanta star Nene Leakes reveals current status with Wendy Williams. Lord, this ain't right, y'all. Hold up. Hold up. We were talking about Cynthia. We weren't talking about no Nene. Lord, have mercy. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Now, why did that go that way? This is two or two. But I want one or two. Hold on with me, fam. Hold on. I just clicked too many times. Okay. Again, it's still the article. It was brought out on yesterday, February 4th. Amanda Niles Anderson wrote the piece for us. She titled it, uh, Real Housewives of Atlanta star Cynthia Bailey is uncomfortable about Mike Hill cheating on previous wives. <laughs> I'm like, Cynthia, girl, go on and get your P.I. and go on and talk. Well, really, go talk to the ex-wives. But, you know, they might uh, somehow still have his number and may call him on the down low and say, Honey, your potential wife, your fiance, she done got some uh, PI people to investigate you because they came by my house trying to get some information. <laughs> you, you just don't know how women act. They are catty. They catty as hell. They don't want you no more, but they don't want nobody else to have you either. And who knows, he might be still creeping with them ex-wives. But that's just me. That's my sidebar. But we're going into this article. It says, Real Housewives of Atlanta star Cynthia Bailey is madly in love with her fiancé, Mike Hill. Well, Cynthia, if you're so madly in love with him, why are you questioning anything, baby? Somebody in your family, your immediate family trying to tell you, put some speculation, some doubt in their head of yours. And you have to second guess yourself by going in on your potential suitor of a husband <laughs> girl Cynthia you funny girl you funny you damn near 50 some odd years old almost 55 and you acting like you just stepped out into the dating scene girl anyway although she has expressed that she can't wait to marry Hill it doesn't mean that she doesn't still have a couple of concerns both Cynthia and Mike have been married before so they understand the challenge of making a marriage work well Cynthia baby girl you only been married one time he's been married twice and i think he's been around the dating scene a lot longer and dated a lot of females prior to you but that's just my sidebar not in this article going back to the article it says interestingly enough there's another part of mike's past that worries cynthia on a preview for the upcoming episode, both Cynthia and Mike confirmed he cheated on his previous wives. Yes, you know I did one on Mike way back when. If you don't know, go into my archives. And he was happily cheating on these two women, okay? He was bragging and boasting about it. So, yeah, Cynthia, mm-hmm. And he did it on his, um, uh, what is that, uh, soul? Oh, uh, I can't think of it now. But it's some kind of, I think it's Fox Soul Network. 
he does some commentary over there by interviewing certain celebrity guests or you know just uh, political figures and he interviewed them and they have a good old nice time over there uh but i'm still looking and waiting for his dating show that him and cynthia are supposed to be partaking of this year but that's not in this article going back to the article that's just my sidebar it says mike hill romantic proposal made a lot of real housewives of atlanta fans excited for cynthia bailey the couple is madly in love and it's clear that they are truly happy with each other but as they plan their wedding cynthia does have a little or cynthia does have a couple of concerns well honey like i said you acting like a school age child you acting like you ain't came gone saw conquered or nothing when it comes to being married before you just all in la la land you acting like you cinderella you've been strung up by your wicked stepsisters and mike um, came to save the day and now y'all in la la happy forever land okay but girl that novelty of that love will wear off quicker than you can um say jumping jack flash about seven times okay ah uh, but anyway that was my sidebar not into the article but going back to the article it says from mike he feels as if he was just a completely different person three years ago <laughs> lord have mercy it couldn't say 10 years ago it could say 12 14 16 years ago it said three years ago shit this is just recently cynthia this is just recently okay girl and that was just me not in this article but it did say um he feels like he's a different person three years ago okay back to the article it says and writing a book was very therapeutic and helped him realize the things about himself he needed to change these changes prepared him to be a much better man for cynthia i'm like three years mate three years you should have been dating cynthia not marrying her less than a year okay i'm just saying and i'm trying to keep it real and it's therapy you wrote as far as you self-counseling yourself <laughs> let me call bullshit on it i got five on the bullshit you trying to press but that's just me that's my sidebar going back to the article it said however cynthia does make it clear that she is uncomfortable about mike's past she wonders if there's anything about her that will prevent the past from repeating itself hell no mike hell no cynthia he's gonna uh if, unless he has a very strong spirit spirituality about himself and he's confessed he know why he cheated he know what drove him to cheating he has to resolve that and handle it for himself and his actions will depict whether he learned anything now if he didn't girl you up for a whirlwind but i hope you got that prenup i hope you got a prenup prenup all right and see if i hope it works out in your favor because as long as you ain't got to get that from him he ain't got to get that from you but whatever y'all made together you better make sure it's split 50 50 and not 30 70 not 60 30 honey girl baby you need to put a clause whoever cheats they don't get shit okay out of the money that y'all basically put together whoever's found cheating don't get shit and we definitely finna dissolve this marriage asap okay i, I said asap <laughs> but let's go and um listen to this clip that they also added into this commentary all right hold on I don't know why my phone is going we slow y'all right here we go because if she would have met me three years ago it was a different life two years ago was kind of finding himself so right in the process, in the process. but when i started writing the book and i got all that stuff off my chest i realized some of the things i've done in the past has led to me doing some of the things i'm doing presently to women but it, but at the same time it's like you know it's, it's it's important for me to because i do have daughters to reveal some of these things and I've already told them I've been open about that with them because they're older their moms I've apologized to them for the things and transgressions I've made in the past and now I'm just trying to do it the right way this time I think I'm getting Mike at the best time in his life right now but he has cheated on his wives before me what makes me different And that was it for that. I think it's coming up basically for 
the next episode or sometime we'll see it before tw uh, season 12 ends I think it has a coincide with something um I think her and Kenya had a filming scene together and Kenya and her all ways of wisdom that knows everything. Uh, she always confessed that a cheater is a cheater will always be a cheater. And to some degree, I really feel that's a true statement. So I have to throw that one up for Kenya. But I think it comes from Kenya's family member trying to tell her that information and she keeping it in the back of her head because that is good logic. Because if you can't, if a, a cheater can't face what he did and what made him do it and come to terms with that and he wants to change, not somebody telling him he needs to change his ways, then yes, I think a cheater can be reformed, you know, and I, a lot of spirituality has to come with that as well. Uh, for me, y'all know I'm a Christ lover. I believe in the Holy uh, Spirit, the Three Trinity, uh, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. You know, Jesus Christ died, saved me for my sins. You know, I'm all with that um, type of adage. But I am a firm believer that cheating just comes out when another person in the relationship don't feel like they're worthy. And then again, it can be a situation where... You know, they just obsess with just cheating. They just can't, you know, not have uh, just one person in their life. They just feel like they just got to have it, have it, have it. And to me, that's a selfish type of way of thinking because you know you're hurting somebody. Because if you want to be like that, then go ahead. Do you be the whole all day long, whether it's a female or male, being the hoeing, hoeing situation. You know, making a hoeing situation come to fruition and messing up the relationship. Um, but don't be in a relationship, you know, unless it's an open relationship where you're saying, okay, I want you, you know, you're going to be the one I'm always taking out. You're the one I'm going to always be providing for this, that, and third, but I just don't want your cookie. I want other women's cookies too, or, you know, be it a female telling a male that, you know, I just have this sex drive and I, 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 it cannot be harnessed just for one person. I need to have, you know, a several different, uh, what you call it, array of men I'm messing with or women I'm messing with, depending on, you know, who's doing the infraction, who wants to do the cheating. And once you have that established, then, you know, if that person say, okay, you told me and I'm going to deal with it, then that's on that person. You know, it really ain't no foul uh, uh, being made on the plays as far as being inf uh, having infidelity issues. But if you're going behind this person's back and you're lying to them and you're constantly seeing not just one person but several people out there and you might not be protecting yourselves and you're bringing all that energy back to, you know, the person you say you love, you care for, then that's a file on play all day, every day. Now, like I said, you can apologize for a lot of different things, but do you really mean it? Are you just looking for forgiveness so you feel like I did those steps or what I was taught, uh, taught to do in counseling? But how Mike, you know, is saying and then he's putting it like he poured all his soul and all his transgressions and all his badness into this book to possibly help somebody else. No, Mike, you're you doing it for a uh, revenue stream. That's pretty much what you're doing because... I just don't believe it. Um, can I spot? What is it called? A tiger? Was it a zebra? No, that's a stripes, ain't it? Zebra changes stripes. Tiger changes spikes. Spikes. Oh, spots. I don't know what the hell I'm talking about at this time, but y'all know where I'm going with it. And because I'm like I said, I'm pretty much like unless that person wants to change and they know for a fact that they need to change and they have the desire to change, that person ain't gonna change. And you talking about in three years? Mm -mm. <laughs> I'm like, he just made these infractions or that last infraction with cheating on his last, with his second wife three years ago. Child, please. Seth, you should be dating him for three years or at least two years solidly before you call yourself accepting uh, a, uh, a proposal or ring from this gentleman. Uh, that's what you should have did. Not like, okay, I'm planning. Because you still could get out of it. You could say, well, you know. I'm not really feeling this. And then, you know, I'm thinking, is this a storyline to keep you afloat? Did you rent this man? <laughs> and he just said, sure, sure. I'll come over there and play as your significant other since the other two that you tried to get to play. They fail miserably. But I can, I can help you out, sis. 
I mean, I, I don't know. I, you know, that's my pun intended. I can look at it two different ways. I can look at it that it might be a true love affair. And, and uh, he looking for somebody in the spotlight to put some momentum on these uh, solo acts. He's trying to uh, reestablish himself in the entertainment field, especially one that doesn't pertain uh, him talking about sports because you know he's tired of that and he wanted to transition into the entertainment field and, and, and go that way and Cynthia was a uh, a vehicle to try to ride with to get him to his next destination I mean that's how I see it uh, and it could be you know Cynthia is gravitating towards him and letting him use her to that fact and just not really looking at the bigger picture of how he came in her life how quickly he wanted to own her and put her in a relationship as far as a committed relationship and then you know she going off the handle talking about she want to get married you know being the biggest thirst bucket you probably could find to put her in you know to say she's the thirstiest she wants to be married she's in love with just being married wants to have that body and laying next to her and she's gonna probably find out a little on a little later down the road that that body is not gonna be laying by her he's gonna be calling himself moving and shaking and trying to make deals here and there he can't be there with her you see what i'm saying and then he's Pretty much said he on his business is in LA. Okay, now we supposed to be the new coming up Hollywood here in Atlanta as well as LA because a lot of people are buying houses as far as movie stars. Um, they're coming here to Georgia, putting down roots and and trying to build here, which I don't too much care for because it's just too much damn traffic here in Atlanta, and we don't need it to be like well hell it's really already here. The L.A. traffic and the New York traffic are already here. But it's just done got too, too crowded. But anyway, going back to this scenario, you know, I think Cynthia really is not looking forward. Um, I think she's not looking at it through clear lenses, if I may use that as a, um, a similarity type of structure where I'm going with what I'm talking about. Uh, I think she's... Uh, using foggy lenses because she's so thirsty of wanting to have someone and everybody's pretty much on the reality show she's on real housewives of atlanta they're married so i think she's kind of like uh it's up from uh what's her name tanya sams and marlo but we really don't count them because they're friends but the rest of them are getting married or they're married on the show and I think she's feeling like the third wheel and she needs to capitalize on in and anything to get her back into that marriage realm so she can have a storyline. But it seems like it's going to be a storyline pretty much similar to the one her and uh, Peter had. And it's going to unravel and then we're going to be, you know, seeing her get married again on the show. And then it's going to come somewhere down the line. Mark, Mike ain't doing something he's supposed to have been doing. And she's going to have to have a conversation. And then she's going to want to get divorced because he's funneling money from their joint account. And you know, it's just going to be a mess. I, I just see it. It's just written on the wall. Because everything is just happening too fast. And with her, unless it's a storyline, she's building up like, oh, I, I don't know. I'm kind of unsure uh, with whether or not you're going to do to me like you did your other two wives. And you really, you just got out of your relationship three years ago. And then you had an epiphany to throw all your pain, all your newfound knowledge of treating a woman the right way into a book. And who self-counsels themselves? <laughs> So even you do get on your knees or you pray uh, for discernment when you're talking to the Lord. Okay, but at least y'all in that saying, you know, it ain't just you yourself and I. you talking to the Lord, so it's, you know, two people there in that situation. Or if you go to counseling where you're uh, letting someone else counsel you on your situations by them not knowing you and making an unbiased decision about the situation and helping you along then that's another avenue but who in their right mind counsels themselves throw it all in a book put it up for sale and then talk about you ready to go get married <laughs> i tell you her story just get interesting by the minute but it's just played out in social media and when it comes up to um watching it on um 
the show on TV, it just makes Cynthia look even more stupider than when she tried to marry Peter. And we saw how that shit worked out. She didn't even know nothing about Peter's um, family member. She met them when they went over there trying to go have um, a vacation time. She finally met his aunt and his uncle. I'm like, girl. And they didn't even tell us that until she actually was filming, was, you know, found filming over there for the show that she let us know she didn't even know Peter's folks. I'm like, girl, what planet are you on? Because it's definitely not Earth. It's not planet Earth, honey. I guess you're on Jupiter, and now you're on Saturn fooling with Mike. Because Mike just there to get that paper from you and use you as a vehicle to navigate him through the entertainment sector. I may be wrong, but that's what I'm getting, Cynthia. And then you coming up with another storyline trying to pimp out your daughter, you and Andy, allegedly, for a storyline. Then you got this mess over here talking about, oh, let me question you. What makes me so different than the other two women you were married to? What's going to make you be faithful to me? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like nothing Cynthia I can answer that nothing because when he see the next little hot uh trotty person that's can you know navigate him a little further elevate him a little further he gonna leave you and go to that next person okay that's just how it is Cynthia when you're messing with a man like Mike and he love the tv too child you're gonna have more lonely days and nights than what you think you got going on now trying to hold on to that man and i don't know it's i think you're older than mike too girl you better save your money you better put your money away and watch what kind of money revenue you're making with mike so he don't try to take it from you but that's all I got, fam, for this particular video. Y'all get down in them comments and let me know what you think about Cynthia. And she asking this ridiculous question after she done got proposed to asking Mike. Well, what's different? What's different about me that's going to make you not cheat on me, but you cheated on them other two? <laughs> you wrote a book and that's supposed to change everything that changes your outlook on making you a better man for the future? God, get the hell out of him, Cynthia. I can't with you. But um, that's all for this video. Like I said, uh, let me know in those comments what you felt about this particular incident that Cynthia done got herself into and how she should get herself out of it to save face, to save herself being another statistic, uh, and all of that stuff. But that's all for this video. Like and share my video. And definitely subscribe if you haven't done so. Good night guys. Bye bye.